guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews, and today we're doing a video on why you maybe shouldn't buy the new Swatch. Uh, the new Swatch and Omega collaboration has been completely crazy. They sold out everywhere. Actually, here's another watch that maybe you should buy instead of a Swatch. This is a G-Shock Cassie Oak. Anyway, I'm just here to show you that there are many other better options out there for the price, and you're getting better quality, better movements, better case. You're not getting a plastic case, and you're getting a better watch. I know there's a lot of hype around um, the Omega slash Swatch collaboration. Obviously, resellers are going crazy, but if you guys did not know, they will be releasing them online at the end of April, so everyone can get one. And I think you should just wait until then, or just buy a decent watch, a better watch, a watch that's going to last you a lifetime, not a plastic watch with a quartz movement. And yeah, so I'm here to show you four different watches, or hold on, five different watches you can buy for the same price with better quality, specifications, and a whole lot more to offer for your money. Now just to run through the quick Swatch whole thing, I'll throw some photos up and explain. The Swatch slash Speedmaster collaboration is a collaboration. They're both owned by the Swatch Group, the same company. I believe it was done to create a lot more hype around Omega, um, since, you know, they always have kind of competed with other watch groups. Um, but they've released a lot of models and they do pretty well. They have a lot of brands under their hood, such as Blancpain, Swatch, Omega, obviously, and a lot of other smaller brands, not smaller brands, but smaller Swiss brands, Tissot and such. Um, but yeah, um, the new Moonwatch is basically a one-to-one -one of an Omega Speedmaster. There are a bunch of different variations in colors. Comes with a quartz chronograph movement. It's made of bioceramic and plastic. I really think it's just kind of plastic. Um, it has kind of a Velcro strap, kind of the strap they used to go to the moon on, and... It's 260 US dollars. You're getting a quartz movement, a plastic crystal, and a you know a band that I've heard is pretty uncomfortable. Personally, I'm not. I tried to wait online just to see if I can get one, but I didn't get one. Of course, I knew I wasn't gonna get one. There were so many people. I just left, and people were kind of going crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, there are a bunch of different options um, of different watches you can buy that are better and they're gonna last you a lifetime. You're gonna enjoy a lot more, a lot more versatile watches. You can swim with them actually. You can actually beat them around and they'll be okay and last for years. And let's start with number one. So this is the G-Shock Cassie Oak as you can see here. And this is the clear variation. I'm a big fan of this release. G-Shock is a big brand. They release a lot of watches and this is their, probably their most popular recent release. I also do have the red variation. Um, yeah, it's obviously a Casio G-Shock in the shape, kind of like a Royal Oak, like the Gerald Genta design. Um, you get that nice kind of clear um, jelly feel. Um, you get a metal strap actually on the bracelet. The watch has a lot of functions. It's actually waterproof as well. And if you can get a little closer in here, you can see it tells you the day of week, the day of the week, it's 200 meters water resistant. It has an alarm, stopwatch, day of the week, time set, and it also has a backlight as well. Very durable watch, um, you know, one that will last you a lifetime, like I said. Now the second watch is actually a watch that's live on Kickstarter right now. This is from a brand from New York called Oceanica. This is their super compressor style watch, a great watch, obviously a better quality watch than the Swatch Omega watch, just as the G-Shock was. And this one is only 240 US dollars shipped. It has a sapphire crystal. You're getting premium quality. You're getting an NH35 movement made by Seiko. That's an in-house automatic movement. You're getting Swiss loom on the markers and the rotating inner bezel. You're actually getting a very nice bracelet. You're getting 200 meters of water resistance, a custom cut case with some very nice finishing. And all around a very interesting watch. 200 meters can take it swimming. And it's going to be a watch that's going to last you a long time. I will drop a link to this one down in the description below. I believe there's only 48 hours left on their ki on the Kickstarter campaign. So definitely head over there and grab one of these. The next watch is the ever so popular Tissot PRX. I recently reviewed this watch. I think it's a great watch. I think it's a watch one should wear for a long time. And it can last you a long time. It can be worn to work with a suit. It can be worn casually. It's 100 meters water resistant. It has a sapphire crystal. It has a genuine Swiss quartz movement. It has a very nice integrated bracelet as well. And this one is becoming very popular. However, there's no waiting lines for these. And it's a much better quality watch. It's a nicer watch. It's a watch that is going to get a little more respect. You know, if you have a plastic Speedmaster on your wrist, I don't think you'll get as much respect as if you're wearing something more genuine, such as, you know, a Tissot PRX, you know, it just shows that you're more of a watch enthusiast. Another uh, recent accusation or 
recent purchase of mine, um, an acquisition of mine, is the Orient, a new diver that was released. This is with a green dial. So if you look like those Rolex Hulks or the Rolex Starbucks with the green, um, this is something you can go for, $225 on Amazon. And screw down crown, in-house Orient movement, great loom, 120 click rotating dive bezel, and it's 200 meters water resistant as well comes on a bracelet. I must say the bracelets aren't perfect, but they're definitely very usable. Um, this one's a bit larger than the Orient uh, May or Reka, uh, May, <laughs> Orient Ray or Meka, the one and the two lines, And it, but just, just a very nice watch. I have a 6.5 inch wrist and this one fits very nice. Also premium materials like a sapphire crystal and great loom. Just another great option. Last but not least is the Seiko Spirit. This basically replaced the Seiko SAR. It's a pretty decent watch for 200, three, around 280, 300 US dollars. You're getting really good finishing. You're getting a Seiko NH35 or a 4R35, they call it. Um, yeah, I mean, you're not getting a sapphire crystal on this, but that's expected of Seiko. But you're getting a really nice dial, very sharp Dauphine hands, a very nice case, cut and finish. You're also getting 100 meters of water resistance on this model, which makes it really nice. You can take it swimming even though it has a pull and push crown. Very accurate, very legible, and a pretty decent bracelet, I must say. Uh, the finishing on the bracelet definitely matches the case. You're getting a milled clasp as well, which is pretty slim and stays nice on the wrist. I will have full reviews of this one and of the Orient coming up real soon. I just wanted to show you guys that you can get a lot more for your money. I know a lot of you guys really do like the, um, you know, the Swatch uh, Speedmaster. You know, it's a hype thing, it's cool. It's something to collect, maybe. I wouldn't generally, I wouldn't personally wear it like an everyday watch. It's not very durable. You can't take it in the water. And if it rains, it's also made of plastic. It can break. Um, obviously, it's accurate as a quartz chronographic movement run by a battery. But these are just five options you can buy if you're pissed off and you did not get your watch waiting in line with 1,500 people. I mean, man. It was a rough one. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. As usual, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Throw the video a like. Let me know your experience. Uh, if you got one of the Swatch Speedmasters, if you sold it, did you make any money? <laughs> and uh, let me hear your stories, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.